What up folks, I'm UltraZilla and this is the Ultra Z News, the only toy news, not for views, but for all of yous. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, or to your fathers. Um, so we got a lot to talk about today because I haven't done a news in almost two weeks, just about two weeks, right? Uh, like a day off of two weeks. So we got a lot to talk about, didn't get a chance to do it last week, there's a lot of cool news. Some news that just broke last night as well. So without any further ado, let's get to the news. And that breaking news announced on the Godzilla store stream last night. The movie monster series Godzilla 1973. That's right, my zillions. Finally, a Godzilla 1973 is coming to the movie monster series. I am so, so happy about this. One of my all-time favorite Godzillas. Uh, I just love this. And uh, yeah, the only problem is it's a Godzilla store exclusive. So there's that, but it is up for pre-order right now. And you can pre-order it from Zen Market or Baiyi, however you choose. Uh, it looks good. I like it. Uh, and I definitely have to have it uh, being a huge, huge fan. So uh, this is all good news as far as I'm concerned. Would it be better if it wasn't Godzilla Store? Sure, but it's all good. The next thing is pretty big news, too. McFarlane seemingly is going to be doing Pacific Rim figures. As you can see here, Raiju, Knifehead, Letterback, and Otachi uh, to start there. And then the Jaegers as well. These come via a retailer pre-order list, so do stay tuned for more news on this as it breaks. But speaking of Pacific Rim, this company, Infinity Studio, a high-end uh, kind of statue company, is doing a figure of Crimson Typhoon. I almost forgot his name. Uh, <laughs> it's a very interesting take on this. It's very cool. Uh, it's got a metal skeleton. It's got a lot of bells and whistles here. It's also going to be 359 bucks. You can pre-order right now on BBTS if you want. You do have to leave a deposit. I haven't seen pre-orders up anywhere else, but you guys can let us know down below if you have seen it. It looks pretty incredible. Now, you know, this is amazing, but those McFarlane things, I can't wait to hear more about those, to be honest. Uh, because obviously those are going to be within a price range. It's going to be uh, pretty acceptable to go in on the whole line. And as far as Pacific Rim goes, I am one that wants to get more Pacific Rim stuff. But this thing looks amazing. Comes with effect parts and different option parts. It's a little vague as to whether or not it's actually articulated this figure or if it has a lot of different parts to uh, create different poses. Uh, I don't think I will be getting this in particular, but it does look quite incredible, folks. And here's everything it comes uh, with. So uh, do give it a check if you're interested. Another thing that I'm going to be interested in is a new SH Monster Arts brand. And that's going to be, apparently, Yu-Gi-Oh! So uh, this could be really cool. Lots of monsters to choose there. Between Blue Eyes and uh, the Egyptian Gods and plenty others. So do stay tuned for more info. Revealed at the Licensing Expo, uh, Attack Peter is designing a brand new Mecha Godzilla for Mondo. And this looks really, really nice. So uh, speaking of stuff, you know, we'll be waiting on pre-orders on. This is definitely going to be a one that you're going to want to get. It looks really, really, really good looking. I like it. It's got a classic Sofubi feel, but with Attack Peter's sensibilities. Super 7 is doing a Super Cyborg Creature from the Black Lagoon. How about that? This is the first, like, actual, like, non-robot creature. Very, very cool. That's up for pre-order now. NECA announced uh, their con exclusives with uh, the Creature of the Black Lagoon in a glow-in-the-dark deco. Now... There is a forthcoming creature from the Black Lagoon, a normal version, that is up for pre-order right now. But this is going to be an SDCC exclusive. So it's kind of cool. Uh, we've seen these previous Glow in the Dark exclusives be exclusive to Target. So this is interesting that they're doing that. This was teased uh, a couple of weeks ago, but Turtles 3, Turtles Through Time, is going to be a set that you can order for SDCC. 
Uh, it looks incredible. This movie, honestly, doesn't get enough love. Uh, I think it, in my opinion, I like it better than the second movie. And um, it's just a fun movie, you know? And fun look for the turtles. It makes sense, the whole samurai thing. I think it's pretty cool. Ninjas, samurais, whatever. So it's all good. Uh, but yeah, another SDCC turtle set coming. So if you're into it, this is definitely going to be a one you're going to want to get. And here is the full layout of everything you get. Alternate heads, all that stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we're also going to get ALF, you know, for Comic-Con. Cosmic Con. So a brand new ALF. Well, it looks like the same ALF uh, that we got before with like a whole bunch of other stuff for uh the melmac cosmic con that, that's pretty cool you know it makes a lot of sense and here's everything alf comes with uh if you want to get it i like the first alf a lot so that's something to look out for uh non-comic exclusive is team nt the wanderer this is a michelangelo variant here uh he looks pretty cool i don't know if this is in the same universe as uh the last ronin or what i'm not 100 percent sure or if it's from the original Mirage comic stuff. But it looks awesome. Uh, speaking of turtles, Fury Fury Toys is doing another one of their really cool takes on the turtles. And this one is uh, Donatello. Very nice stuff here. All of these looked pretty cool. This one's called Autumn. Uh, I haven't gotten any of them, but, you know... I don't know. It looks really, really nice. I wouldn't mind getting them, to be honest, but it's just so many things. What I do want to get is Furai Planets. Not the same. Uh, Usagi Yojimbo. Yeah, an old Usagi. A crazy old-looking Usagi Yojimbo uh, take here. I, I love this. This one I might get, guys. Zoids is doing... Some crossovers with the Fist of North Star and Pat Labor, uh, and some other anime that I don't know. <laughs> I don't know this one, uh, but some cool Zoid stuff on the horizon. Uh, we talked about this briefly before, but these are the different armors you are gonna be able to get for your Liger Zero Chogokin. The, this is an option part set. Um, and then it comes with a little standy here for the armor. If you want to get the armor and an extra frame, you can do so. The frame is going to be, is up for pre-order as well. So this is pretty cool stuff. Definitely going to be a little bit expensive, but very nice stuff all together. Uh, and you'll be able to do a bunch of different ligers here. Uh, with these so uh, I think that's pretty slick and this one also obviously comes with a stand so that's pretty cool uh, This was kind of shocking SHF doing a Jamaraquai figure why I don't know <laughs> uh, But they are doing one and uh, it's kind of interesting so if you're into uh, one hit wonders <laughs> virtual insanity is uh, <laughs> Just that so it's very strange that they're doing this, but I guess it's a pretty iconic video. And it, it, it does look like a pretty cool figure. And he comes with the furniture. This might be worth the price of admission. There's going to be a new SHF Spider-Man here from No Way Home. It looks really nice. And the Dragon Zord and Mega Zord, Soul of Chogokin, are being re-released as a set. So if you missed it the first time, something you might want to get. A new Mazinger Z DX is a coming out. This looks incredible, and it's incredibly expensive. But as with other DXs, uh, this has the inner frame looking pretty good. This is like the anniversary edition, actually. This one was already out, but uh, you get another shot at it. Uh, pretty iconic piece, honestly, and it comes with the whole little hangar bay which is anything but little honestly uh very cool for those of you that love the high end stuff this was pretty cool a new uh shf sandland this is a video game that i don't know much about there's also a chogokin little piece but they looked cute and i wanted to show up talked about this last time but we didn't have the official picks indiana jones 
uh, the SHF Indiana Jones from Rages of the Lost Ark has gone up for pre-order. These are just really nice shots. I want to show them to you. Uh, it is up for pre-order right now. If you uh, are so inclined to get yourself an India, I kind of am, guys. I kind of am. It looks really nice. I think they got the likeness right. So this is pretty cool. Again, up for pre-order right now. So do look around for your pre-order info. And uh, how about this really cool dragon in the figure arts zero line. And this is very, very nice. This is from One Piece. It looks beautiful. Nice little pink and orange dragon. Don't, again, I keep saying little, but definitely not going to be little. It looks amazing for sure. Getting into some Ultraman stuff. This is going to be an ultimate uh, Diablo figure to go uh, with your absolute Tartarus figure. That's pretty cool. And uh, they're doing a vinyl figure set, a set, vinyl figure series, uh, where they have some gimmicks in the Ultra Monster line. This is pretty cool. I, I like this idea as well. This is um, from Ultraman uh, Blazar that's coming very, very soon. So there's some cool things there. Definitely some interesting looking kaiju there. We're getting a giant Heroku figure from uh, Shin Ultraman from Kodo. So if you wanted one, you're going to get one. Uh, how about an SHF of that? That would be pretty cool. And uh, in a big bit of Ultraman news, Bandai America is going to be doing Ultraman figures here in the States. Which makes sense for, you know, because Bandai has done everything, so uh, that the license stays there. Common Rider Black Sun is getting a hot toy, so uh, that's pretty interesting. And sticking with some more Tokusatsu, the Good Smile Company, King Gridman was on display uh, in a few different modes here, and it looks really nice, guys. Definitely something I would be interested in, in getting, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. X Plus Awakening Shin Godzilla has gone up for pre-order, and this thing looks incredible. As you can imagine, a uh, X Plus figure being. Obviously, there is a Rick version that is all lit up, so if you're into that, get it through the Rick site. A uh, Godzilla is doing a uh, interesting uh, looking piece there. I, I like that. I don't know too much info about it, but uh, it does look pretty great. Check him out on Facebook and Instagram for more info on this cool little piece. Mondo's first colorway for their Rodan and Mothra set uh, went up for pre-order this week and it's sold out. It looks really cute. Uh, I definitely will be getting one of these, uh, probably not this one, but one of those down the line. Our friend Monster Island Buddies has a new plushie, so support him right now and order yours. Check out his socials for the exact link. Speaking of uh, YouTubers, Unparalleled Universe has a new figure coming out as well. They're doing a odious figure, that's their mascot. Uh, and it looks pretty cool. You could uh, check out the Kickstarter right now for that. Uh, Mondo, we talked about him before. We'll talk about him again. How about this Ultimate Skeletor figure with all kinds of uh, accessories to do a lot of different looks for <laughs> Skeletor. Looks really, really nice. Uh, one of those chests are exclusive to Mondo.com, by the way. 3-0 is doing a Black Ranger with the Dragon Shield. That's pretty cool. Pre-orders are coming up soon. And uh, Mezco is doing a Gomez figure, Space Gomez, with his own mecha. And this is up for pre-order right now. It's pretty pricey, though, I'll let you know. We finally uh, got some official picks of the Hammond Collection Brachiosaurus. This thing is going to be tremendous. But it looks really, really nice. So what the interesting thing is, it's got a bendy wire neck. So that is very interesting. Kind of looks ugly, but uh, I still uh, think I got to get it. Chucky 2 is getting a Nendoroid figure designed by 1000 Toys and Sentinel. How about that? Some quick G.I. Joe classified news. There's going to be a Desert Camo Snake Eyes as well as a Tunnel Rat, an all-time favorite. But the big news is uh, their fully funded Dragonfly. Congratulations to them. That is very cool. Stretch goals are being worked on right now. 
Let's talk some Transformers. First up, Beast Wars reaction figures of Megatron and Optimus Primal were found in metallic colors at Target, so be on the lookout for those. But speaking of Rise of the Beast, the AMK series from YOLO Park is going to get a Wave 2. Wave 1 is out right now. I'm getting Optimus Prime and Primal soon. But Wave 2, including Scourge here, uh, they're all going to come with and Beast Mode, Optimus Primal, weapons for some of the uh, first wave of figures. 3-0 is doing their own Optimus a Primal figure, uh, standing at over 11 inches tall this is gonna be a beauty with like over 60 points of articulation these are uh the initial shots here of the prototype and boy <laughs> does that look incredible i hope i get to check uh this guy out this is just gorgeous man love love the design of optimus primal i've yet to see rise of the beast but uh, I'm loving uh, what I'm seeing here from 3-0. This is just a beautiful, beautiful Optimus Primal. Can't wait uh, to check out some of their stuff for this movie. It's going to be awesome for sure. There's also going to be a tabletop game coming uh, of some sort. And the, this is one of the figurines of Optimus Primal for it. As well as a, a kind of like an SD, like G1 Optimus uh, and company. Uh, more info on that as it comes. But there's seemingly like licenses flying around everywhere for Transformers right now. Takara is doing a Cheetor figure in a bright red. Um, that's going to be an exclusive. Super 7 is doing a Super Shogun a Megatron, a G1 Megatron in their Super Shogun style. That's pretty cool. Back to Rise of the Beast though. And uh, a Beast Power Optimus prime uh went up for pre-order at hlj uh and i hadn't heard anything about this one yet myself i don't know if i just missed the news on this we i knew about bumblebee but not this one quite yet uh and i like the way this looks so this might be a possibility for me we shall see this figure is amazing the original figure but there is a buzzworthy bumblebee reissue of grimlock i think the deco is a little lighter here I could be wrong, but that's something I'm definitely going to be uh, looking out for. There's also going to be Transformers the movie Ironhide and Prowl set. And, um, yeah, spoilers. They don't do so well in there. They, you can see their battle damage <laughs> on this set. It's a little wild. Uh, and then there's a Troop Builder multi-pack set, which is kind of cool if they release these uh, three of the same kind instead of three different things in there. But I digress. And that's the Ultra Z News, guys. I came to you a little bit late this time, uh, but hope you dug it. Till next time, peace out, peeps.